Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I am playing with one of these palette knives. I just picked up three from Spotlight that were having a sale. I got all three and I'm only going to try one in today's video. So we're going to be doing the swipe technique. I've got some purples and some blues and a bit of iridescent white. Uh, let's see, which one shall we use? Should we go in the middle? Let's get started. So don't worry, I'll be using the other um, palette knives in some other videos coming up. But um, I thought what I'd do today is puddles. Um, I'd like to do the puddles all over this time. And I thought I would take the purple through the middle. So I've mixed up a fair amount of the uh, paints because uh, my last swipe I just felt that um, I didn't have enough paint uh, let's put a little bit of iridescent white I do love my iridescent white This uh, colour here is the Permanent Blue Violet. Now this one here, um, this is the Deco Art Extreme Sheen Amethyst and I thought I'd actually drizzle that one on top. We'll see how that goes. We've got the Permanent Blue Violet mixed with Primary Magenta. Ultramarine violet and I'm going to put the blues around the outside. Manganese blue phthalo. So this uh, colour here is manganese blue mixed with titanium white. got phalo blue and we've got the iridescent white I've gone a little bit thicker with my mix today as well because um, I want it to stretch better and I feel like that's going to help. I think that's probably enough. Just fill out this little edge here. All right. Well, I've missed a bit in the middle here. Let's fill that up with the ultramarine violet. And just a little bit here. Just make sure we've got all our holes covered. All right. Now it may look like I've nearly filled the canvas, but I've got to cover the edges as well, so. Oh, we've got this one. I don't want it to drizzle. So I think this will go well. I might leave it like that. I've got a bit left that I can play with. So I've got my titanium white as my swipe mix. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. All right. 
That's just a light up palette knife. So with this pointy end, I might be able to do some little bits of turns or something. All right, it's a lot wider than any palette knife I've used before. So let's start up here. I love this bit through here. Got some nice stuff happening. Let's just pop a few up here with these bubbles. And then I'm going to come up through here. So we've got a bit of a reaction with the, the um, Deca Art. I love this blend here. And I want to take this. I just wanted to grab those colours. So this is quite runny, but because I just freshly made it. Let's try moving the palette knife this way. Oh, this has opened up interestingly. That amethyst deco. I always get some strange reactions with the deco art, no matter what I mix them with. All right, let's put some gloves on and stretch it out. I feel like I want to take this bottom off first. If it'll go that way. going this way I feel that's the direction it needs to go that's some really pretty stuff that I don't want to lose through here doing stuff that I don't want it to do.
this is crazy through here. I really like this pale blue. Wow. Okay. So this, the lacing on this is a lot better than my last swipe. It still struggled a bit to um, move together properly. So what I think I'll do with my next one is before I swipe, I'm going to see if I can level out the paint a bit. It's the back covered. Got to be careful not to drip. I can't see. Yes, looks pretty good. Okay. I'm happy with that. That's cool. I really love this icy blue. That's how it's turned out. The because um, I mixed the make. Magnes blue phthalo with white just to lighten it a bit and then with the um, iridescent white over the top it looks really pretty and then this is crazy I'm not really sure what's going on in these two it's all like transparent hmm all right I'll bring you in for a wet look okay here is the wet result and uh, this is really a purple river, I think, with uh, surrounded by ice. Because I reckon this through here looks like ice and up here. And this has some sort of glacier. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there. We've got some transparency for sure. I'm going to have to look back at the video and see how that happened. But... Um, the lacing is pretty crisp. Uh, this has got some of that metallic amethyst going through it, creating a little bit of unusual lacing. Oh, and this, this is really interesting. And see this here? Oh, it's, there's so much to look at. This looks like a little bit of marble or something. There's so many little bits. That's cool. I like that. Uh, I will show you when it's dry. Okay, here is the dry result. And um, there's a lot to look at. It's quite pretty. I'll take you in. I quite like this um, blue line here. It separates a bit of the purple. And these bits here, where I've got that transparency. Now that's uh, the iridescent white. Let's just get a bit of the shine. Now I'll zoom you back out. I'll show off a bit of the shine, especially down the bottom there. See that? And then through the middle. I don't know if that's, I think that's the iridescent white that's shining through the middle there. And up there. The, um, the extreme sheen, I think that's here. Oh, yeah. I mean, you definitely can see the difference between, I'd say that's the iridescent white underneath. Just here, this is the iridescent white, and this is the extreme sheen. You can see the difference. So the iridescent white really does have a lot of shine. That's why it's one of my favorites. And what else we got? This is that really unusual sort of, um, to me it looks like a bit streak of marble. You know how you get those cracks in the marble? Looks a bit like that there, but because I think this is a bit like ice, it's like a crack in the ice, and these are quite icy as well. And then down here, I think that looks pretty icy with the iridescent white shining through there. 
blue blue glacier sort of colour here. And then the purple river going through the middle. Very cool. Very different piece. I like it. Um, it's not really my colour scheme for my house, but I'm sure it would have a good uh, place somewhere. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Again, let's have a chat in the comments. Um, I'm always happy to hear your thoughts um, or suggestions. And I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.